Welcome to part three. A couple tools I've got. A hammer. Got a pry bar that I can hit with. I'm going to use that because of the edges and the angle. I've got two different punches. I've got this guy with a sharp tip. Not. I've got a punch that has a sharp edge. And we're going to use that to catch the edge of the uh, seals. And right there is poking you in the back. So we're going to take out the races. Take your time. You want to have them out kind of evenly. Doesn't take too much. It's got that edge. That's one race. I'm just getting all these little pits in there. Top one is the same, you just go in from underneath. I'm going to zoom that one in so you can see more what it looks like as you pop it out. Some places, you know, grab it some places better than others. Try to find a good shoulder. Hold it firm in there. So the and at the end, I just tap it lightly. Only because I don't need to shoot the race across the room. And there's a race. Also comparing the two because the set I have says it's the same bearing upper and lower. So I've got the two races. Oh, sorry, I suck with the camera when I'm uh, comparing the two. Same width. Also looking on the inside, making sure the surfaces line up the same on the inside. That's how you know the same. All right, now that we got the races out, I pulled the steering stem out of the freezer, kind of an experiment. When you freeze things, they contract. Of course, the bearing's contracting as well. <laughs> the grease is contracted. Um, it was an experiment. Then I decided I was going to try out. What we're going to do is get this bearing out of here. Say the threads even though I'm on wood. Put in that. Sorry, just to help save it.
wasn't so used. And there she goes.